mini harpy. So uh, uh, practically, it's an envelope of uh, a cutting edge loiter munition, which has a triple seeker practically, and it totally changing the whole idea of loiter munition. Why is that? It's because we are fusing both electro optical capabilities or sensors and the anti-radiation sensors or RF sensor, if you like it uh, uh, better. So this envelope provides a tactical loiter munition for up to 100 kilometers of range with this uh, 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 fusion of sensors and a deadly warhead uh, in order to practically uh, efficiently attack any kind of targets, whether it's uh, 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 personnel or up to APCs, tanks, rocket launchers, not to mention, of course, all the air defenses arrays like mobile air defenses, radars, etc. So that's, that's, uh, 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 that's the mini harpy system. Um, especially when you're speaking about uh, the naval operations, so now, nowadays we are having um, more and more programs to deliver the loiter munitions also for the naval operation means uh, we are now delivering the Harrop, uh, which had a great success in ground operations, of course, as everyone knows, you know, uh, uh, starting from uh, November 2020 with the winning campaign of the Harrop, and I'm speaking about a 98% uh, success in battle for the Harrop, so nowadays Again, we are taking those capabilities to the naval operations. It gives vessels like corvettes, like, like uh, frigates, uh, the capability to launch Harrop from uh, uh, remote sites or remote areas in, in the sea, in sea level, and having the possible capability to attack whether shoreline targets, which are critical, and even going forward into deep, into the deep ranges for supporting, let's say, ground operations, uh, um, in a so-called interoperability fashion. So that's the Haro. And for the Mini Harpy as well, uh, practically provide this envelope with an electrical engine and, and, and a very, I would say, simple and small size, and small form factor uh, loiter munition, which has the triple sensor. So that's, that's practically the package we are uh, uh, now proposing. And not just proposing, by the way, I'm speaking about an actual contracts that we are delivering from, uh, uh, let's, let's say, these days. Learning from the Ukraine war, we understood that there are some difficult types of threats that we need to uh, overcome, uh, and we need uh, some special capabilities in order to do that. And ELTA being house of radar sensors and SIGINT sensor, we're thinking that a combination of those sensors, active and passive together, can bring us capabilities that was not seen when only using those separately. So we built a, a, a capability of integrating all those sensors, active and passive together, starting from the radar, which is the MF Star digital uh, radar, which have a uh, capability to detect small threats and uh, uh, far away uh, at the range uh, threats and uh, detect them. And uh, with the uh, uh, IFF identification, which is also a digital IFF uh, sensors, and we combined it with a new digital EW uh, sensor called the Scorpius N which uses the same technology of ESA just in order to detect and jam threats uh, specifically on the, on the arena. The capability of the digital EW allow us to integrate those two sensors together on the same mass without interfering, EMI interfering to, to each other, which is a big problem uh, packing those uh, sensors usually on small uh, vessels. Moreover, we don't have only the active sensor, but also the passive sensor, the uh, RESM ELL8385, which is an operational uh, sensor uh, uh, on uh, various uh, countries around uh, the world, and the comment one uh, that cover all the frequency range from uh, HF up to 40 gigahertz. So we actually dominate the spectrum having a reception on all over the frequencies and uh, jamming capabilities on the dedicated uh, uh, 226 and 6 to 18 uh, frequency range. So together we are bringing a 
combined and more effective capability to a small vessel. I want to talk uh, uh, for the last uh, issue about the uh, threats of under the water uh, threats. Uh, ELTA has just launched its uh, Blue Whale autonom autonomic uh, capability, which is uh, uh, a small and autonomic uh, submarine that has capability of radar and area same, same as up the water, under the water, and can detect threats uh, with especially uh, special uh, sonar that cover the, uh, the, all the terrain of the, of, of the sea, of the ocean and uh, together, radar and ESM uh, together also bring capabilities with autonomous uh, submarines. So these unmanned uh, unman or under the water uh, targets are part of solution that uh, we bring uh, to, the, to the arena with our uh, Blue Well uh, capability.